we want to predict the equilibrium constant for the first reaction from the second and third reactions. So when I first look at this, I'm like, you know, that really reminds me of when we did Hess's law in general chemistry one, where we had to add everything up, or we had to reverse things, and all this stuff we had to do. Well, those same exact rules are going to apply to finding the equilibrium constant. So I have kind of a method that I use, and hopefully it will help you as well. First thing I want to do is I want to write down what I want. So what exactly is it that I want? I know that it's already there, but if I can put it in perspective, sometimes it helps me to learn. So I want that first line is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to write that down. So there's the equation that I want. Now, how am I going to get there? Well, I noticed that I'm going to go ahead and number these so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. And in equation 1, that's what I want down here. I notice the first thing I have is a CO2. So which one of these equations has a CO2 in it? Well, that's number 2, right? But it's on the wrong side. So I'm going to reverse number 2, and I'm going to write that down. Now I've reversed the equation. So what do I have to do to the equilibrium constant? Well, if you recall, k reverse is equal to 1 over k forward. So I have the forward here, so this is going to become 1 over 1 point zero times 10 to the fifth. So we've used equation 2 and we found the equilibrium constant. So I'm going to make a little line through that because I've already used it. I'm looking for 1, so the only equation I have left that I can do anything with is number 3. Now if you notice, I need to get the H2 on the left and the CH3OH on the right. Well those are already on the correct side in number 3. So what I want to do is I'm just going to rewrite number 3. So I'm just going to go ahead and put number 3 down here. And since I didn't do anything to number 3, I'm just going to rewrite the equilibrium constant. Okay, that's great, but where does that get me? Well, I've used 2 and 3, so now I need to add them together to get what I want. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to rewrite every term first. So here's what it looks like when I've added everything together. Now if you remember in math, we always want to cancel anything that looks exactly the same on the left hand side of the equal sign as it does on the right. So I notice there's this CO gas on both sides, so I'm going to cancel that. Nothing else looks exactly the same, however I notice that both of these are H2, so I want to combine like terms, just like we do in math, and so what am I going to get for my final product? So here's what you finally get. Now you'll notice I did change the order on the right hand side, because now this equation looks exactly like what I wanted. So that's half the battle. Now what's the other half? The other half is I need to do something with those equilibrium constants. Well you notice right here I added these two up so I'm going to have to add these two numbers together. So you do that on your handy dandy little calculator. You can get one of two things. You'll either get 140 or if you're all about those scientific notation you get 1.4 times 10 to the second. So whichever answer you prefer or your instructor, that's which one you want to answer.